This week on The Wire, RBA to cut rates twice, ANZ too conservative on loans, and Labor backs down against brokers. Uh, welcome to The Wire, where you can get all the top stories happening from the week in real estate to Thursday, the 28th of February. My name is Tim Guest. I'm Australia's leading financial educator and the managing director of Infinite Wealth. Now, of course, we love to see your interaction with these posts, so please comment, question, like, love, angry, and share, 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 so that your friends and family can get the benefit uh, of this valuable information. So let's get to, into the top stories for this week. So RBA to cut rates twice, and that's coming from Westpac. So one of Australia's biggest bank, banks has predicted that the Reserve Bank will reduce the official interest rate twice this year to reach a historic 1% low. So the Westpac Chief Economist Bill Evans predicts the RBA will reduce the cash rate by 25 basis points in August and then again in November, although I think it's more likely that we'll see a rate cut probably before the election. Now this re represents a significant change in interest rate forecast. Previously he had forecasted that rates would remain on hold for an extended period of time. So if a 0.25% percentage point reduction, which is what they mean when they refer to 25 uh, basis points, is passed on by lenders, it would result, uh, for a household with a $400,000 mortgage, it would result in a $1,000 a year cut in interest costs. Last year, the Reserve Bank said consistently the next move in interest rates would be most likely be up, but recently the RBA governor, Philip Lowe, has flagged the possibility of a rate cut if the economy proves to be weaker than expected. So over the past year, the next move is up scenarios were more likely than the next move is down scenarios. Uh, he says, and today the probabilities appear to be even more balanced. Like I said, um, from my uh, paying attention to what's happening out there, I think it's quite possible we'll even see a rate cut before the election. Uh, but also ANZ, too conservative on loans. So ANZ Bank Chief Executive Shane Elliott concedes the bank may have been too cautious in its home lending decisions after new figures showed that its mortgage book shrank in late 2018. They'll now look to expand and more quickly, particularly in the investor market, that's great news for our clients, obviously, which has been dragging on growth in the wider 1.6 trillion mortgage market. And that's partly due to the tighter conditions. Now, figures published by ANZ last week showed its mortgage portfolio contracted in the last three months of 2018 by almost, well, over half a billion dollars. Uh, or 0.2%. During 2018, ANZ said its, uh, its loan growth was just 1% compared to the industry-wide growth of 4.2%. The bank explained the slow growth by pointing to tighter credit policies uh, um, uh, within the bank and its preference for owner-occupiers and principal and interest loans, which tended to be paid off more quickly. Uh, while we are maintaining our focus on the owner-occupied segment, we acknowledge we may have been overly conservative in our implementation of some policy and process changes, and that's what Shane Elliott said. Uh, he also said that we are also taking steps to prudently increase volumes in the investor space. Like I said, great news for our clients. Moving on, Labor backs down on brokers. So federal Labor will allow mortgage brokers to continue being paid by banks if it wins governments, abandoning its previous support for the Royal Commission's call that consumers should pay brokers. Shadow Treasurer Chris Bowen says upfront commissions, which are paid by banks to brokers for arranging loans, should be allowed to continue, but should be capped at 1.1% of a loan's value. That would roughly double current upfront commissions, which would partly cushion the impact from Labor's already flagged policy to ban trial commissions. The policy is in stark change, is a stark change from Labor's initial in principle support for the Royal Commission's recommendation that all commissions be phased out and replaced with a fee paid by consumers. But just on this, guys, I know that's what Labor's saying, but the idea that they double upfront commissions, I mean, look, we are a broker. To some extent, that would benefit us, right? But I think that's a bad, bad, bad idea. I think the best idea is keeping it exactly the way it is. You get, you know, around about half your commission from uh, arranging the loan. Now, all the banks pay, pay the same, so there's no incentive, okay, which I think is a great way to do it. But having the trail commission is actually what encourages the broker to keep continue providing customer service to the client, keep on answering their questions, and it also encourages the broker to do what it can to keep that loan in place. I think up, up larger upfront commissions is just gonna encourage brokers, or particularly the unethical ones, to keep churning clients over and keep refinancing, which I don't think is necessarily a very good thing. But guys, look, that's pretty much all from me. The top stories coming at you from the weekend real estate. Like I said, we love to see your interaction with these posts. So please, question, comment, like, love, and angry. And of course, share, share, share. I'll be back uh, early next week with one of our Q&A sessions, our Just Ask Tim videos. So if you've got any questions that you want me to delve into, please put your question down below. And guys, have a great day. Look forward to speaking to you soon.